Ethan, the manager, just talked about the impact that you can have on games and what you can do. And it certainly looked in that second half, at the, for the time you were on the pitch at least, that, that you, you affected the game through your, your assist and through your goal as well. You must be pleased. Yeah, delighted. Obviously, the main thing is obviously the three points. But, um, you know, I thought as a team, I don't think we were quite on it in the first half. It's something that was mentioned at half-time. I think we just needed to lift it at 5-10%. Um, and we did that um, and like you said we've got players like, like Willow who's going to get on the end of things and I pride myself on, on set pieces and stuff like that so obviously it's worked out today um, but yeah really pleased Just tell us what's in your mind when that ball sits up for you nicely and you're through what goes through your head when you're thinking where am I going to put it what's the keeper going to do how do you feel in those moments? To be honest with you, I, I, <coughs> I, had, um, I had a moment like that last year when I was playing at Wimbledon um, late in Orient I went through and I missed it um, and I remember there was too much going through my head at the time. And to be fair, as I, uh, the touch was perfect, which kind of helped here, um, and that kind of set everything up. I don't even take notice of the keeper, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, obviously happy it went in the back of the net. So. You were off the pitch at the point where the winner goes in, but just describe the feeling when, when you see that and you, know, you, you realise you have once more in front in the game and you must think to yourself at that point, you know, we're on for something here. Yeah, no, definitely. Obviously, I think the, the, the boys that come on to the pitch made a, made a huge impact um, and obviously they're pushing for... It's almost like the more they push, the more confident I, I get that we're going to nick a goal. Um, it's the players we have on the pitch, you know, the likes of Gav and Josh, you know, you're always, you're always in the game, you're always close to a goal, really. So, um, yeah, it was brilliant. You just mentioned there about that group. How tight-knit a group are you now? Because the manager does like to change things around. So I suppose you've all got to be ready because you never know that if you've played one week that you're going to be in the side the next. I suppose, does that keep you on your toes a bit? Definitely. I mean, listen, we need to freshen things up. To get the, the length you saw today, the length of the games is, is crazy at times. But... Um, we need fr freshness on the pitch. Um, there was a bit of lethargy in, in the first half, I thought, but we bounced back as a team and the subs that came on made a, made a massive impact. Um, and like you said, Gaffer and, and all the staff, credit to them because we are a tight-knit group. I think I'll go back to when we, when we were in the off-season at Spain. Um, I think that played a massive part and plays a massive part um, throughout the season in games like today where we, we go behind and show you know, courage to, to come back and dig in. So, yeah. How have you settled in personally? Is it you know it's it's a big move to come up from down south and to get accustomed to a new club and in a league higher as well. So what's all that been like for you? It's been brilliant. I mean, everyone's been been, been amazing with me. I've said it numerous times now. I think um, everyone's been so polite. Um, I just want to obviously take uh, time to to recognise the fans that travelled down today. Um, it's, it's not it's not a short journey. So I thought they were magnificent today and they were out out kind of out screaming the, the Charlton fans at times so um, but yeah like I said everyone's been brilliant um, brilliant, been brilliant with me and hopefully I can keep kind of trying to produce for them on, on the pitch Last thing that's four unbeaten now which after the opening day I imagine is the, the ideal response isn't it because you know you could have easily folded as a group after that couldn't you but you've responded in the right way with, with four unbeaten games Yeah I think it goes back to the unity within the group um, it's not easy I'll be honest with you it was, it was quite dark after after uh, the Barnsley game, um, we don't like to mention it, but um, we need to. We can now. I think we can class that as a blip because, like you can see, the, the squad and, and the team is so strong. Um, and like I said, I think you got to give credit to the Gaffer and 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 the, the club in general for that. Um, so yeah, we we're taking it one game at a time, and um, yeah, obviously we've got a week's break now, um, so we can prepare fully for for our next game.